like she's at least cleaned up a little bit. I mean, sure, Vicky Guerrero was still embarrassed by the hog pen match she competed in at Extreme Rules, but Jerry Lawler making pig snorting noises is just unnecessary. Not to mention, not funny at all. Hasn't Vicky realized by now that constantly repeating excuse me is not going to make anyone shut up and listen? I ran and Randy Orton a rematch. And to this day, I still wonder if Vicky was actually having an affair with Randy Orton behind Edge's back, especially since they are on different brands. The last thing on my mind is making any of you people happy! Vicky Guerrero speaking on behalf of every last authority figure, police officer, mayor, president, or anyone in politics. I don't think that was mud, actually. I was looking to each and every one of you to find compassion. After years of being booed out of every building she was ever in, Vicky Guerrero actually thought that the fans would show compassion and sympathy, all because she lost a hog pen match she got covered in shit. Take one wild guess how that turned out. I am tired of you laughing at me week after week. So I'll quit for now, come back in a few months, and deal with another five years of getting laughed at and made fun of week after week. Because reasons. Here on Man, I remember these days of the original brand split. Anytime someone crossed over to Raw from SmackDown or vice versa, it was a big whoa moment. Nowadays, nobody bats an eyelash because of Vince McMahon introducing a wild card rule. This appearance by Edge was great. I wanted to apologize. Edge came out to apologize to Vicky Guerrero for wanting a divorce at Extreme Rules, all just to be even more disrespectful and this time demanding a divorce. What was the point of the apology then? I don't need to apologize. Then why did you apologize right now if you realize you never needed to? Vicky Guerrero quit her job before Edge even entered the ring. And I married you for your power. One would think that Chavo Guerrero would go after Edge in some sort of revenge feud as a result of this deception, but instead, Chavo just goes on to have months of humiliating moments with Hornswoggle. When we went out in public, people thought you were my mother. Sounds like the other side of a Nicolas Cage marriage, if you ask me. Thought I could honestly be in love with a she-beast. Dude, I get that you're upset that Vicky Guerrero quit her job and can't help you be champion anymore, but holy shit, that's too far. This segment actually made me feel bad for Vicky, which normally is next to impossible to do. Holy fucking shit. Every time I kissed you, I had to rush to the bathroom to dry heave. Yet Edge was on the stage for the entirety of his wedding reception a year ago, complete with making out with Vicky, and not once did he rush to the bathroom to dry heave. Is that we never actually consummated the marriage. Yet Edge continuously teased the fans that he had sex with Vicky Guerrero numerous times over the course of their marriage, with Vicky going along with it. If they never actually consummated their marriage, wouldn't Vicky have been confused when Edge teased that. I want a divorce. Yeah! Best divorce ever.